It's 7.30 a.m. in Holland's capital, Amsterdam, and an historic event has just occurred. Arriving through the gates, a group of individuals who've travelled over 14,000 kilometres to reach their destination. It's a highly anticipated moment, as it's taken them three plane journeys to get here. But does anybody know where they're precisely from? No, I really have no idea. I mean, I would say it's somewhere in Asia, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think it's Indonesia. Maybe one of the African nations? I'm not sure. It's the first time in Europe for the Solomon Islands national football team, and an interesting adventure awaits. As well as experiencing a new culture, the side will play several Dutch teams during their three-week training camp. And while the exhaustion of a long-haul flight is beginning to take effect, the players are excited for what's ahead. The specialised training camp's been organised by Paul and Kuhn of the Netherlands Oceania Support Foundation. After posing for some selfies and a picture with the famous Amsterdam sign, the next stop, the team's accommodation, where they'll spend the next 21 days. Stepping into an unfamiliar environment on the other side of the world is something totally unique for these players, and there are some challenging games on the horizon. Because if we have room enough, they can put their luggage there and they sleep there. Yeah, yeah. Then it's better. With their rooms now familiar, it was time for a meeting with legendary Dutch defender and Solomon Islands national team coach, Wim Reisbergen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. 8 at the moment, Patrick. Now, the players must rest up ahead of their first training session of the tour. <laughs> 